Welcome back to Writing Done Right. Well, today we're going to spend a little bit of time looking at resetting page numbers in LibreOffice and the various cases that you're going to use, whether those be fiction or nonfiction. Welcome back. I am Tom Morosky, an author and a technology consultant. And today we are going to teach you a little bit more about LibreOffice. So uh, thanks for coming along to the video. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. And let's go ahead and dive on in. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to look at cases for uh, fiction. So you have a fiction novel and uh, we did do a video called Parts of a Novel where we looked at the various places, the various things that you put in a book because it's not just, hey, your story. We talked about a title page. We talked about the copyright page and there might be acknowledgments, a few other things. There might be reviews. In this case, I jump right over to the title, uh, the beginning title of the story. And then we did say that parts and things usually will show up on a right page, which is kind of what we have over here. So this is a right page, a left page is left blank. And so uh, what we're going to do here is I just want to show you how to reset your page numbers. Why might you want to do this? Well, anything that goes before the story in a fictional novel should not be counted in the page count. So in this case here, this page three should actually be page one. And so we want to be able to account for having all this up here not actually be anything. Now, in the final printed manuscript, we will not have the page number or the author name at the top of the copyright copyright page or at the top of the the title page those will be taken out also you don't want those on the reviews or acknowledgments or anything like that so uh, what we are going to do though is those are going to have no page numbers on them and then starting with the title of the story this is where our first page number should be at so what we want to do this is very simple but it's not necessarily intuitive uh, what we're actually going to do here is we're going to use the section under your formatting paragraphs and reset the page numbers there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start out and put our cursor at the beginning of the text for the page, not up here in the header. If you put it up here in the header, you will not actually be able to select what we need to select. So you want to go the first line of text that's not in the header on the page. So we're going to start there and then we're going to use our format, go up to the format tab and then go on down to paragraph. Now inside of here, we're going to land on the order outline and numbering by default, but then you want to come over here to the text flow tab. Now down here, you'll see that uh, it might already have insert um, page type break already selected because this is the start of a page break. And then what we want to do is we want to start with, uh, uh, with page style and then select the page style that you want. So in this case, we're starting on a right-hand page. So we'll just go ahead and select your right-hand page. And then what we want to do is reset the page number here. So this will kind of tell you, you can set your page number at whatever you want it to be at this point in time. So it is typical that the, the line in the novel where the title of the book is, is page one. Now that's not always displayed at the top of the page, just an FYI. Anytime you reset the page numbers, it will consistently maintain that page number count unless you reset them again. Okay. And so when we go ahead and click on this guy here, what we're going to see is despite this page still says one, this still says page two. Again, we're going to remove those when the book is finally formatting. But now at the beginning of the title page, now we've picked up at page one. This should be two. This is three and on down to the bottom of the book. All right. So that's kind of what, what we are seeing. All right, so uh, that is actually how to easily reset. You're like, well, that was a short video. Well, we actually want to consider the nonfiction as well because you generally do things a little bit different. Okay, so for a nonfiction book, we do things a little bit differently. Now, of course, your title and your copyright page do not have any page numbers. Now, there's two ways that you can do your nonfiction. I generally use this more simple way where there's all the beginning matter doesn't actually have any page numbers listed. And I just kind of start the first page numbers, the title page, second is the copyright page, etc. And then we actually start the book down here with 
um, whatever the original number page comes in. In this case, nine. But suppose you actually want to do it a little bit more professional where you have, I'm saying my books are not professional. Uh, no, it's just two different ways to do it in the industry. The other way is that everything after your copyright page uses lowercase Roman numerals. And then your um, uh, the your actual title starting with usually either your introduction or your first chapter is going to start with page number one. So I could actually have page number one right here or maybe page number one at the introduction. Uh, either way would, would work out. Now to do this, um, there's going to be a couple things we do. Now all of these are default style and my default style is kind of set to not have a page number. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at what our page area is. We're going to create another style based on this guy and uh, we'll just create a separate style just for Roman numerals. And uh, so I just wanna make sure we have our page. So if I just go ahead and create a new one, it's actually going to create a new default, which is gonna be eight and a half by 11. I just wanna make sure it's pretty much the same as this. So we want five and a half by eight and a half. And then these are the margins we want, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.44, 0 0.56. So let's go ahead and create a new style. And we're just gonna go ahead and do five point, uh, let's see, height, 5 point, height is 5.5, wait, width is 5.5, width is 8.5. Uh, let's try that again. Width, 5.5, height, 8.5, and then we need to set our margins. Is that what I had? Let's go ahead and apply that. Let me just go ahead and double check our default style again. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.44. I think I did 6.5 instead of 5.6. Why not? All right. And modify 0.56. I'm dyslexic and so am I. Let's go ahead and change this to Roman numerals. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I want my title page to stay default. I need my copyright page where it's going to stay default. These guys here should be Roman numerals, which in theory shouldn't change how it looks much at all. That's Roman numerals. Uh, Roman numerals on the introduction. Roman numerals there. This is going to be default style, and then this restarts my chapter title. Okay, so now the first thing we want to do is we want to reset our page numbering on, uh, we want to do that up on the introduction, right? Let's go ahead and do our page number on our introduction. So remember the beginning of the page, not including the header, we're going to go down to our uh, format and character, excuse me, our format and paragraph, text flow, and then we don't want that. That's starting with, yeah, that is, wait, we don't want that to be Roman numerals. Let's call this default style. Uh, and then we're going to reset this with page number one. Okay. So now our introduction is going to be um, page number one. This is page number two. This is page number three. So this should be page number four, which now it happens to be, which is good. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go into our Roman numeral pages, which is this one here. And let's go ahead and add a, um, we're going to go ahead and add a footer to this. So if uh, you don't want to do that painful thing of doing that, you can actually go into the edit style and turn on the footer as well. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on. We are going to insert a page number. Okay, now the page number though for this is going to default to that. Why is, okay, you should not be Roman numeral. You are default style. Not sure why this page number is going back to default, to Roman numeral or not. Okay, okay, dedication is, you know what, this might actually be because we might need to put in a new page break. What it's doing is uh, every now and again, what's going to happen is, is uh, since there's not a separate page break, we're going to change this guy back to default, default, and then I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay, so let's stop here, and we're just going to, let's just go ahead and come here, back to our paragraph, text flow, 
start this new one with Roman numerals. Okay, there we are. So now we'll have, this is default. This starts Roman numerals, but you'll notice there's no Roman numerals on those. Yeah, that's because what we need to do now is we need to change the formatting. Now you can actually double click down here and change the formatting here. This will actually override anything that's in the template style. So what we're gonna do instead is modify our template style, go to page, and then change your page numbers down to Roman numerals. Okay, so now we're starting with, this is page one, no foot, uh, no page numbers. This is page two, no page numbers. Page three, Roman numerals. Page four, Roman numerals. Page five, Roman numerals. This guy, default page, no footer, but it's resetting page one with um, uh, one, two, three. This is page two, page three and this is page four with, again, our regular numbers. Now that we have that done, the last step here is let's go ahead and update our table of contents. All right, so right-click a table of contents, update index, and now you'll see that it has reset our table of contents. Our dedication is now on Roman numeral three, acknowledgments Roman numeral four, contents Roman numeral five. Now contents, you may not want to do this. Uh, this is actually why I usually, let's edit the index. This is why I like to deselect change. So we're on the table of contents. It doesn't actually need to be in our table of contents page. <laughs> okay, so our dedication is three. Our acknowledgments is Roman four. Our introduction starts on page one. And that's exactly what we see. So now that is how you can get your Roman numerals setting up before the page number going down into your final uh, final book here. And now all these guys are going to have your, um, your actual uh, character numbers here. And these are all styled inside of your um, paragraph styles. Footer left and footer right is where I have those coming in. And I believe, what is this one? That one's footer chapter page, which is just a subset of footer right. So that will hopefully give you the idea as to how to fix your numbering to make sure you have your Roman numerals where you need those um, and restart your page numbers where you need. So thanks for coming along on this video. Subscribe if you've not already done so. Have a look at the website, writingdoneright.net, for a lot of extra uh, tools, tips, and tutorials. And give me some comments and some likes in the um, down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope that we will teach you how to get your writing done.